Hey everyone, this is Steve Corian from the PTC community, and today I'm bringing you part two to Keyshot 3, um, how to add multiple materials to one part. I've had some questions con um, concerning how to do that and other things with painting parts. Um, just so I can explain it to you in a quick and simple manner, basically in CAD, CAD allows you to select surfaces, paint individual surfaces if you want. Keyshot only recognizes a surface if you paint it a different color in your CAD program and then save it and bring it in. When you do one solid color, Keyshot only sees that part as one, that you want to apply one material to the whole part as a whole. It's the same thing with assemblies. So if you merge your assemblies, say from 3D Studio Max or Rhino or whatever, Pro, you know, program you're using, Maya or whatever. If you're if you merge it in, and you make it one part in the, as an assembly, and you merge it as one part, when you bring it into Keyshot, it sees it as one giant part, and it will apply one material to the whole thing. If you bring it in as individual pieces, you can actually apply different materials to the different parts in your assembly. So I'm going to show you how to just originally just render this as one color. So you can see the difference. So I'm going to open Keyshot. I'm going to open my part. And what I'll do is I'll um, I'll put this part in my Dropbox for you guys to download, so you can follow along. It'll be a lot easier. Uh, that way, you know you're not you have the same example in front of you, and you can apply it to whatever you're working on. All right, so I'm going to right-click on this part. I'm going to go to Move Object. And I'm just going to rotate it by grabbing this red ring. Hit snap to ground. Okay, now I'm just going to open up my library and I'm going to drop a color on it. All right, now you'll see when I left click and dragged my color onto my model it applied the color to the whole model I can't change the color of the surfaces I can't pick them it just sees this as one solid shape so I have this is actually a casting and then these are gonna be machined faces so I don't want my part to look like all one color I want it to have multiple colors so to do that I'm going to clear this if you go to edit clear geometry it will clear whatever's on your screen so I'm gonna open Pro E back up and I am going to now and this is now this is a cool part and you should pay attention to this part because it's kind of important let's say you have multiple materials that you wanted to add to different surfaces like say you wanted these surfaces here to be different from this surface okay well you would just paint those a different color for every different colored surface you have on your part Keyshot will recognize it as a place where you can stick a different material so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna change my drop down to intent surface and So everything that I wa basically want to apply a different material to, I'm painting. And I'm painting it all the same color because now the cool thing is, once you paint it all one color, you can apply one material and it will, it will paint all those surfaces that are colored that same color. It'll paint, it, it'll put that material on it. You'll see in a second. It'll be easier when you see it. Alright, so we're almost done.
Okay, so now that I have all my machine surfaces, I'm going to hit OK. And you can see in my model now that my machine surfaces so far, the ones that we're going to see in the in KeyShot, are all colored gray. Now if I wanted a different material up here, like I said, I could apply a different color. So I'm going to save this part. I'm going to go back to KeyShot. I'm going to go to File, Open. I'm going to open the one I just colored the surfaces on. I'm going to rotate this. I'm going to hit done. Okay, now I'm going to go to my library. Now you can see right away that all my the part has multiple colors. When we first brought it in, it was one solid color. Okay. Now you can see all those surfaces that I painted in Pro E are now showing up in the part in uh, KeyShot. So now you can do what you really want to do, which is you apply your casting material to your part, which I just did. I left click and drug it, drug it right onto my part. Then let's say I want my surfaces to be metal and I want them to be like a brushed aluminum or something. Mm. So when I, it, as, all right, if you're paying attention now, when I highlight over that the colored surface, because they're all the same color, you can see on the screen that it's, I'm gonna go off of them. See how, see how they all turn now when I drag this on there? Now all those machine surfaces that I colored in Pro E get that brushed material look to it. Even this face, because it's all the same color. And like I said, if you wanted a different material on this face, which you wouldn't if you were doing a casting, but you wouldn't do that. But I'm saying if you have a part like a plastic part, you can go in and just paint the surfaces and you can go in and uh, that way when you go in to do this, it'll just you can drag it onto those painted surfaces and it will you can pl apply materials to it so I'm going to edit the material and change the scale change the roughness it's a little too rough if you go to environment up here um, If you go to environment, if you right click on the material that you want to edit and go up to environment, you can change the brightness, you can change the background color, you can add ground reflections, you can change where the light's coming from, um, you can change everything in here. Um, you can add a camera, you can add there's settings for your resolution. Um, pretty much work I'm gonna go into another tutorial to show you guys how to do how to add and make and create and edit materials in a later tutorial um, but on this one I'm actually going to change the color of my casting edit material I want it to be a little darker I'm just closing those windows. Okay, so now you can see I have my machine faces up here, and I'm going to do a render. Brings up my render window. I'm going to save it to my desktop. I'm going to set the resolution. I always set it pretty high. If you just click in the next box over, it automatically puts the value in. I have my DPI at 2500 and I'm going to hit render and you'll get a preview window that looks like this and then you just wait. So the trick to your assemblies and to parts is that if you want to use multiple textures when you bring your part into KeyShot 
you have to paint them a different color in your preferred CAD system that you're using, whatever it may be. That's the only way Keyshot is going to recognize that as a surface that you can add another texture to. Um, so once you get used to that, it's not really a big deal. Before you used to have to, you used to had to, before you had to create uh, surfaces in order for it to see them. You couldn't do it in HyperShot, uh, which was the a previous rendering program, but. This works out really well. It doesn't take that much time. You're pretty much coloring, you know, when you're doing CAD or design, you're pretty much coloring all your surfaces one, you know, different colors anyways to kind of give yourself the look and feel of what you're doing. So hopefully this tutorial has helped you guys and I'm waiting for this um, this render. It should be done in a minute to stop before I end this, but the one thing I don't understand about this import is that the surfacing, when it imported it, is really, really bad. You can see all of my sharp, like there's sharp edges around my radiuses, and in the model there isn't. So, but no big deal. It's just for an example anyways. This is about a 30 meg file. So when you guys get it uh, from the Dropbox, just right click on the link and save as. You'll see it's about a 30 meg file. So there's a lot of blends, a lot of uh, swept curves and things like that. So And like I've said before in different tutorials, there's depending on the material that you're using, you know, if I would have just used a plastic for a color instead of something with texture, um, this would render in a second. Whenever you start getting into textures and changing the roughness on your textures or the bump um, in the scale of your textures, it starts, the rendering takes a little bit longer because it's trying to make it look as well real as it can be, I guess. Just chugging along. You guys can <clears throat> fast forward to the end to see what the final picture looks like. I mean, it's probably going to be a minute, so. But in coming tutorials, you know, I'm going to try and go over bigger assemblies. I'm going to try and go over, like, um, you know, if you merge an assembly, if you have an assembly or if you have one part that's that you're making as an assembly, and instead of having, you know, 50 million individual parts in an assembly, you just have one part, you could just paint the surfaces that you want to apply different colors to, and it would, you'd be able to you know make it look like an assembly in Keyshot just by painting those different surfaces because you can apply different materials to it so there's a benefit to it and it gives you it kind of provides a shortcut um, instead of modeling each and every single part when you can kind of hide most of them because you're not going to see that detail anyways in your renders All right, so it's done rendering, and I'll uh, show you guys a quick shot of what it looks like rendered. So you can see it put that brushed material on those machine surfaces. Now, there's an obvious issue with the surfacing import on this and I'll have to change the tessellation which is how accurate it is when it brings the part in but 
you can see it gives the part multiple materials, multiple colors when you paint them in your CAD system, like I said. Uh, I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to drop them below. And coming in a couple weeks, I'm going to start doing live uh, tutorials on Twitch TV where you guys can sign in. It'll be free. You can ask questions. We can do CAD. We can do KeyShot. We can do whatever. And you can just kind of pick my brain on um, on whatever questions you have. So look look for that coming soon and in uh, more tutorials as well. Thanks. Bye.